In this session, you'll learn how to choose the most appropriate life jacket for your boat and activity, how to ensure that it's serviceable and fits well, plus how to put it on and wear it. You'll also learn a boat operator's duty to ensure that all guests, with special attention to children, correctly wear the right life jackets for their age, weight, and behavior. And that any unused life jackets carried on board are removed from their packaging and properly stowed for easy access. What problems do we want to avoid? Not choosing a life jacket that will be visible in the water to rescuers. Not checking the label for U.S. Coast Guard approval. Not confirming the life jacket's condition. Or suitability for your intended activity. Not selecting a life jacket with the proper chest size and weight to fit correctly. Not fastening all straps, zippers, and ties. And tucking in loose ends. So, how do we do it right? First, ensure that your life jacket will be bright and visible in the water. For foam-filled vests, yellow or orange is a good color. While inflatables can be any color on the outside because their bright yellow air chambers are concealed within the outer shell. And read the label to ensure that it's U.S. Coast Guard approved. Next, check that it's in serviceable condition, that all the buckles and zippers work properly. Then make sure the life jacket is the correct chest size and weight for you and well suited for your boating activity. Life jackets for general use are different from ones intended for water sports, like paddling or water skiing. But be aware that while dynamic strength testing may ensure that a life jacket will stay intact, it will not prevent or mitigate injuries. Fasten all the belts, zippers, and ties. Tighten the adjustment straps and tuck in the loose ends. Then make any final adjustments you need for a secure fit. When you are the operator of a boat, your responsibility doesn't end there. It extends to your passengers and crew. It's not acceptable to be unaware of whether they have selected the correct life jackets or have put them on. Each person aboard your boat must wear or have readily available an appropriate U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket. Most vest type inflatable flotation aids meet the carriage requirements as long as they're readily accessible, but can only be worn by people who are at least 16 years old. Check the label for more information. When a vessel is underway, children under 13 must wear an appropriate U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket unless they're below deck or within an enclosed cabin. Young children need life jackets with head cushions, carry loops, and leg straps. If your boat is 16 feet or longer, it also needs to have a U.S. Coast Guard approved throwable flotation device immediately available. As operator, you should confirm that others on your boat put on their life jackets that theirs are also in good condition, fit properly, with all the fasteners and straps secured, and are correctly chosen for the given circumstances. For non-inflatable life jackets, there should be no rips, tears, or deterioration. And in addition, for inflatable life jackets, the carbon dioxide cylinder must not be punctured and the indicator should be green. Extra life jackets brought on board should be removed in their packaging and conveniently stored for quick access in case of emergency. With practice, choosing the most visible and suitable U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket, ensuring that it's in good condition, fits well, and is appropriate for your boat and activity will become second nature. And fulfilling the duties of a boat operator for your guests, and especially children, to ensure that they have selected and correctly put on the proper life jackets for the situation will become your normal routine.